The U.S. Congress just passed the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. But what does this mean for potential solar homeowners, and what does this mean for folks that have already gone solar in 2022? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, we talk about all things related to home solar power, renewable energy systems, uh, battery storage systems, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Uh, you'll find product reviews and comparisons, uh, as well as industry news like we're talking about today with the recent passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. I never thought I'd have Nancy Pelosi on my new YouTube channel, but the US Congress did just pass, and as I'm recording right now, is likely being signed into official code, uh, this Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, which a large part of it includes a massive boost for the solar energy industry. So first, what does this mean for consumers or homeowners that are thinking about going solar, or maybe they just already did go solar in 2022. Now the largest incentive, of course, is the Renewable Energy Investment Tax Credit, or ITC, which has now been bumped up from 26% back up to 30%, which is where it was when I first got into solar. Uh, th basically 30% of your overall project cost, equipment and installation, 30% will be refunded to you or credited against your taxes uh, when you file your tax return at the end of the year. So the tax credit has increased back to 30% and it's been extended out for 10 years. So it'll be at that full 30% until uh, 2033, at which point it will continue or it will start to, to gradually fade off. Now, that tax credit is important because if, if you're looking at financing your purchase of your solar power system, you know, depending on which market you're in, but if you're looking at financing the purchase of your solar power system, uh, getting that, that 26 or 30% tax credit back to be able to, to reduce the amount on your financing is usually the kicker that you need to achieve a one-for-one one parity on a bill swap. Meaning, if you don't want to pay anything out of pocket to go solar, you can finance the whole thing, pay the tax credit to the finance company whenever that comes in, and you'll end up with a solar monthly payment that's fixed that's the same or lower than what your electric bill is. So you're basically not paying anything out of pocket for solar. And just like buying a home with a mortgage versus renting, once you lock in your solar loan payment, that payment is not going to change over the lifetime of the system versus your electric bill goes up a little bit each year with inflation. And so that's why a lot of folks like to have that. So that tax credit now is um, in the books and it's protected at the full 30% for the next 10 years. Now, there's also some electric vehicle tax credits in the bill as well, including a $4,000 tax credit for low and middle in income homes to buy used electric vehicles and up to $7,500 in tax credit for the purchase of new electric vehicles. So there's a lot in here that's gonna be very stimulative to the renewable energy industry and solar, uh, solar in particular. And so we're very excited that we're going to be able to offer our systems at, in many cases, more competitive pricing, more competitive financing terms than what we might have a couple of years ago. Now, on the other hand, we do have rising interest rates. So although you are going to get 4% more back on the tax credit, you may be paying 1% higher interest on your loan than you would have just, say, six months ago. Uh, so again, folks, if you're in the process of getting quotes for solar or getting your financing lined up, my recommendation would be get your financing, at least get your financing approved as soon as possible so that you can lock the interest rate and then take your time if you're still shopping between multiple options. Uh, of course, if, if you need to get a quote for your a home solar system or maybe you, you already have a quote and you just want to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting a good deal or make sure that you're getting the right equipment, um, as always, you know, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can chat on a quick Zoom call with one of our uh, experts, one of our system designers, and we'll show you what options are available for you. Now, the bill doesn't just include incentives for consumers to go solar, it includes massive incentives for man manufacturers as well, including $30 billion in production tax credits to accelerate solar panel manufacturing here in the US. 
There's also two billion in grants available to retool existing auto manufacturing plants to be able to manufacture electric vehicles. So I think what you're gonna be seeing with a lot of this guys is that you're gonna see more renewable energy related manufacturing and production come back on shore, whether it's solar panels, whether it's batteries, whether it's other microelectronics that you know, connect all those different components together. I think what this means guys is that we are going to have a more secure onshore supply chain for renewable energy equipment. And so, so, I'm, so I'm all for it. Um, I think this again, this is one of, the, one of the few things where the government is giving you a strong incentive, a strong incentive to become more self-sufficient, whether it's at an individual household level, you know, becoming self-sufficient with solar panels and battery storage, um, or incentivizing industry to move its manufacturing out of countries like China and other overseas countries and bringing it back onshore here to the US so that we can provide for our own needs. Well, folks, this has just been a brief announcement about the Inflation Reduction Act and how it will be a boost to the solar industry. Um, as always, if you're getting good content from the, um, or getting good value, rather, from the content that we're publishing here, uh, be sure to click on the like button. I, I know I say it all the time, click the like, click the like button. Um, I really do appreciate it, so I, I thank you in advance for doing that because it, it helps tell the platforms to make our video visible to more people. Uh, and of course, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way, as we publish new videos, it'll, it'll come up on your home screen and it'll come up on your feed and you can keep up with the latest news with us. Um, as always, if, if you are in the process of shopping for solar, if you need to get a price quote or get a system design, or if you need a comparison, as always, feel free to just reach out to us on the website. You schedule a quick, no obligation, no cost, one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation with one of our system designers here and we can put together some options for you. Well, folks, thanks again for tuning in to Solar Search today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.